So let me just quickly tell you about my detox slash clean eating plan. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Yeah! Ooh! We almost saw Stefan. Almost. Cool. Oh. Okay, uh, we're going to eat first. Breakfast. And then go to Schreveningen. Nutella makes the world go round, man. Rolls with Nutella. Ooh, I love this song. We were supposed to go to uh, Skeffa, aka Scheveningen, but everybody was like, nope, too cold. We're now going to Stefan's parents to wish them a new year and just chill and eat more food. I'm going to start my detox tomorrow, but I'll tell you about it later. Nom nom nom, the food fest continues. Toast with cheese, and over here we have an apple beignet. Good stuff. Home sweet home. And we got some nice junk food, I'll show you in a minute. As dinner, for dinner. Hmm, has to be home. Christmas tree here. I'm going to take it down tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after that. How long do you take before you take down your Christmas tree? Like, my record is one time, I kept it until March. Yes, that's right. That's how much I love my Christmas tree. But uh, nowadays, I just try to take it down as soon as possible because I know I'm just so lazy and I love it so much that, yeah, it can drag on for months. But, all right, now, it's time for dinner. I got fries with potatje oorlog. It's with uh, mayonnaise and with um, peanut sauce, saute sauce, and onions. This is so traditional and typical Dutch. You have to try this if you come to Amsterdam. Go to Fabo, it's the most famous snack bar. Get this potatje oorlog. And, or patatje flip, I don't know what it's called on the menu, but it's the same thing. And also I have a cheese souffle, or better known as case souffle. Stefan also has two very typical Dutch snacks, so this is a beer hop or a bear claw. It's a meatball cut in pieces, and then, or sliced, and there's onion in between, and then it's fried, and he ordered it with satay sauce, so peanut sauce. And then he has a frikandel, which you don't want to know what's in it. It's just meat, so, uh, but it tastes good with mayonnaise and curry sauce and uh, onions. This is called Frikandel Special. Very, very typical Dutch. You really have to try this when you come here. Eating on the couch, good food, Harry Potter. Oh, this is really good. It's a good start of 2016. I hope your start was good as well. Did you have some adventure? Did you um, fire off some fireworks? What did you do with New Year's? When I tried this the first time, because I wasn't born in the Netherlands, I went mental. I was so crazy about this. It's really, really good. And I ate a lot of, of them and I got nauseous and I couldn't eat them for a long time. But now I've rediscovered them. It's really, really good and very, very typical Dutch. So let me just quickly tell you about my detox slash clean eating plan you're going to see it more in the vlogs if you want me to i can talk about it what i eat is really my business i don't think you need to eat like me but anyways um i'm just going to do like a clean january something like that i do want to have yolo days because i still have the british candy here and i definitely want to uh, make a video trying that candy but it's not going to be like the, um, the regular YOLO day on Saturday because I feel I've, I'm starting to take it for granted somehow. And because it's starting to get normal, I somehow feel comfortable to eat uh, crap on any other day of the week. I don't know, it's just like a psychological mindset when you get used to a situation. Sometimes you just get too comfortable in that situation and you need to like, um, turn things completely around and make it fresh and start a new challenge so my basic rule is just clean eating um, when I'm hungry I can eat whatever I want uh, usually I just have three meals a day um, I can have more if I want if I'm hungry uh, because this is a colder climate I notice I eat a lot more than in a warmer climate 
and then if I really feel like I really really want a YOLO day I will probably plan it on a Saturday um, so that it's planned so I still have something to look forward to because if I'm feeling like um, you know like I want to eat chocolate now and I go for that instant gratification it's for me it's like I don't know it has a snowball effect because I haven't worked for that you know for that reward so if I feel like I do really crave chocolate or something I will plan it on a Saturday and then just wait a couple of days and then I feel like I worked and earned that reward so uh, yeah that's how my clean January will look like if you um, if you want to I can tell you more about it I can write stuff on Facebook like if you want me to if you don't that's also completely fine but uh, yeah I just wanted to tell you about it do you have any uh, New Year's resolutions I'm curious about it like um, what do people regularly do like stop smoking maybe or uh, exercise more or um, I don't know like do you have any crazy New Year's resolutions? Like, uh, I have a New Year theme, but I think I will be telling you about that more tomorrow because that's something like apart from Clean January, it has nothing to do with health. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you. Mwah. Bye. Oh my gosh, all the Turkish cookies, snacks, thingies.